Hi, it's Christine again. I'm just getting ready for work, so hair's wet, tied back again. Um, someday I'll do a video with this down, and you can see how much of it I've got. Um, anyway, uh, I thought I would kind of do a video response to Drawing Can Ass, uh video on materialism. Um, oh, there's a squirrel climbing the wall of the house. Where'd he go? Lost him. Anyway, hey, <laughs> I love you, I love you, squirrel! <laughs> Anyhow, um, I guess there's been a bit of an argument, and I've missed some of it because I've been watching too much other crap, um, especially uh, I'm fascinated with other religious videos, and I tend to watch different ones um, between uh, uh, atheism and other things uh, just to see what people think and especially with the science and in the atheism videos and stuff like that. I always have to put out a shout, shout out to uh, Wildwood Claire 1 and uh, Aaron Ra and Potholer 51 because, well, King Crocoduck too, because there's some stuff that's pretty freaking phenomenal. And I'll get into that later. I want to do a video on uh, the responsibility that a, a witch has uh, towards actually being um, accurate on science and helping promote science because it's how we discover things. Anyway, on the materialism aspect, um, I am a bit materialistic myself. I do have my own shop. I craft my own items. Um, my shop is not pre-made. Pre uh, I buy in bulk and then do stuff. I mean, I rip watches apart. I do all sorts of crazy stuff. I do my own wood carving, um, wool work, things like that. Um, what people are forgetting in this is that uh, some of us are actually trying to do this to make a living or to start making a living. Um, because of the situation with my hands and with the Raynaud's disorder and the eczema and, and you know, it just, it's going to be harder and harder over time. It's already getting to that point. I'm on uh, uh, steroid creams now. Uh, I have been told by a dermatologist if things don't stabilize, I'm going to end up on immune suppressants. I'm a critical care nurse. At some point, I'm going to have to retire from doing that, and I've been at the job since 96. So I've been at it a while. That said, I like to make things. I'm an artist as well. I paint, I carve, I work in leather. I do all these different things because it's what I see in my head but I want to be able to make a living from home. And there's a lot of us in that situation. We're not doing it to be, oh my gosh, capitalism, and we're trying to sell constantly. No, we're not. If we advertise our shops on YouTube, that's fine. There's no problem with it. And as, as uh, she had said, um, some people, you know, if, to turn around and say, well, you're not, you're not doing this properly because you have things, you've got stuff. Um, that dogma is why people left religions like Christianity to come to paganism. If you want to put the dogma back in, um, I suppose some of you are fine if most people flock away from paganism because you're pushing dogma and trying to enforce it. Um, if you're fine with that, well, it's going to be a result of it anyway. And right now, because there are so many pagans, there are so many witches out there, there's a lot of them in the medical field. Um, you know, we're, we're gaining acceptance. Do you want to be back to the point where all you are is laughed at? And I mean, there are plenty of people who laugh at us anyway, and we just kind of brush it off and that's fine. But what are you trying to prove? You know, I'm sorry. As she said, this comes from Puritanism. It also comes from St. Augustine and the Catholic Church. Uh, St. Augustine had gone to India. He'd gone to places and studied Hinduism. And and that's where you find, you know, you have the Fakirs who uh, do not have possessions and stuff like that because it's considered distracting from their religious practice. Paganism is individual. We can do what we want. And if you don't like that I run a store or somebody else runs a store, then don't go there. That's all there is to it. It's simple. And there's nothing wrong with materialism. I can afford it. I can afford 
an expensive crystal ball. I did payments on that thing. I can afford gifts of fossils from relatives. I can afford things that I have found all over. Um, another gift of this coyote hide. I am not against the use of fur. I use a lot of recycled fur in my stuff. I'll buy antique blankets. Um, I ended up with a wolf hide blanket that way. The coyote skull I bought from a Native American, um, actually, uh, so that they could go and buy more supplies for beads. This was a found piece. This was found. This was a gift. Um, this was a gift. Uh, one of my athames is cheap, you know. Uh, here was a gift from a good friend of mine that she made that. This I bought on eBay. I thought it was pretty darn cool. Um, these are things I've had over the years. The candlesticks were Michaels, and I bought I bought the plain candlesticks and made them myself. The mirror was a cheap thing that I modified. I mean, that's just the way it is. I like things. I like stuff. They help me feel that I have a sacred place. They make me feel like I'm a little bit more inside of it. And that's my prerogative. That shouldn't be dictated by anybody else. And don't let somebody dictate to you what you have to have on your altar or what tools you have to have or that you can't have any tools at all, whatever. If you can afford it and there's something you like, go for it. Hopefully you buy from me. If not, no skin off of my nose. At least spread the word, whatever. We're supposed to spread the word for each other. We're supposed to help further our religion and and further equality of religion and also further the goal to go back to the small craftsmen again. People complain about these big companies have taken over and they buy stuff from China and they resell it and you don't know what you're getting and they're making tons and tons of money. So we get all these little small people out there running their home-based businesses and then you yell again. Wow. Just wow. What happened to taking the power back into the hands of the people? I'm sorry. Part of that power is to be able to have some fun with capitalism. We are in a capitalist country. If you want to open a shop and, and sell stuff, go right ahead. You might be my competition. You might not be. I don't care. It's the nature of our economy. And if you don't like the fact that there's capitalism and that there's small home-based businesses out there and mom-and-pop shops, then find another country. I'm sorry, but get over it. It's part of the United States. Thank you. Blessed be you guys.